Suzanne, so another good question. It goes right along with that. It comes in and is it, what about staying just on original Medicare, Medi your Medicare A and B and not picking an advantage plan or a supplement? What's the downsides or upsides to that? Well, to be very honest with you, I don't see an upside to it at all. And here's why. If you go with traditional Medicare, just your part A and just your part B, the downside of not having a supplemental or an advantage is you do not have that maximum amount of pocket that you like, it's kind of like a cap. So let me give you an example. So let's say that you just have Medicare part A and part B. God forbid this happened to you and you get cancer and you go in for chemotherapy. You and I all know that chemotherapy is a pretty expensive uh, process. So chemotherapy radiation goes under part B of Medicare, B as a boy. Okay. So if you only have the Medicare part A and the Medicare part B, you go in for chemo and radiation, Medicare pays 80% you pay or you're responsible for 20%. So let's say you go in and you have radiation four times a month, I'm just giving you an example. And these are just example purposes. Let's say that each treatment cost, let's say $20,000, just give you an example. Okay. $20,000, Medicare pays 80%, you're responsible for 20%. Well, if you're paying 20%, that's a lot of money, four times a month, right? So with traditional Medicare, it does not have a maximum or a ceiling of what you are responsible for. So the kind of the sky's the limit. You're paying 20% of whatever the bill is on the Part B side. So with the Medicare supplement, remember, that kicks in and pays or fills those holes of that Swiss cheese for you. So it protects you. It protects your assets. It protects you as a person. Um, Medicare Advantage, if you have Medicare Advantage, the benefit of the Advantage is all of those plans, just like I spoke before, they do have that maximum or cap out of pocket. So at least, even if that cap is 5,000 or 8,000 or 10,000, depending on what plan you're on, at least it has a maximum that you're liable for. So I tell clients, you need, this is my professional opinion, is you need something, whether it be an advantage plan or a supplement, depending on your financial situation, you need something to where at least you have a maximum uh, liability. So hopefully that answered that question for a long way around to answer that question. <laughs>